what is going on YouTube and welcome back to another Madden 21 Ultimate Team video and guys in this video we're going to be going over the best snow and the best XP methods to do right now in the game. Series 4 is soon, the holidays are almost over so that means Series 4 is soon and uh, snow will be going away soon so you're going to want to get your snow up now as you can do rerolls and stuff like that. We got a bunch of new content left. We are not done yet, so uh, before we get to that, you already know, smash that like button, subscribe if you're new, turn that noti bell, and join the noti gang, guys. Road to 500. Uh, we are almost there. Thank you guys so much for all the love you've been showing. And uh, go follow the Instagram and Twitter. Links in the description below. But let's get into it, man. So um, we're gonna start off with we're gonna start off with the snow a little bit. We're gonna start. Yeah, you know what? We're just gonna start off with snow in general. So snow, man. Um, you guys get snow as you guys see from here 6750 total snow just from getting base rewards um you also guys you also get tier 1 tier 5 tier 10 and tier 15 and tier 20 we have been through tier 1 through 15 already tier 1 doesn't really matter it's just snow beast tier 5 though you get a free 90 overall zero chill player i bet you almost a lot of you have done that already and probably almost all of these i'm at tier 20 um, but I have not received my reward yet because it's not out yet. Obviously, it comes out on the 31st. The 31st tier of 20 comes out. It is the 28th, I believe. Yep, 28th. It is Monday. So, um, guys, you could quick sell any. I quick sold tier 10 because I don't like out of position. You also get to choose. So, if you are going to quick sell, take the 93 and quick sell it. That's 9K snow, I believe. 9K. These are nats, so it's a little bit lower in price. Um,. These also, guys, as you get your tier up, or not, actually, you know what? That's pretty common sense. As you get your tier up, your chill factor goes up. That's literally what it is. I don't know why I was going to say that. But, guys, completing sets get your chill factor up. Um, all these sets, you can see I completed these all get your chill factor up. Uh, also, guys, doing daily objectives, winning house rules, all these things, doing solo challenges, all these things get your chill factor up. So, um, I'm not really going to go into chill factor that bad. But, let's go to challenges, man. Challenges. Um... These challenges right here, guys, as you guys see, this gives you a lot of snow and chill factor upgrades. Look at all these chill factor upgrades. These are five chill factor upgrades right there just from playing all of these solo challenges. Um, that's a lot. That's five whole chill factor upgrades. That's a lot. And the easier, the, these are the easiest ways to get your chill factor, to be honest. These are very simple. Um, also, what you can do is house rules. House rules is very simple, too. You only need to win one game to get a chill factor upgrade. And, uh, actually, you know what? I think you get chill, two chill factor upgrades from doing house rules, depending on, wait a minute, let me see this. Oh, the house rules are gone? Wow, so house rules are gone. So I hope you guys did do those house rules pretty quickly. Um, that's an L. That's definitely an L if you did not do that. Because you did get a chill factor upgrade, you got to put the, snap, the uh, collectible in the Justin Herbert or the Miles Garrett set, and you got a chill factor upgrade from that. And then just from playing and getting wins, you got a chill factor upgrade from that, I believe. So, those are the easiest ways to get a chill factor. Any set as well. I did a bunch of sets, that's why my chill factor is so high. Other than that, I wouldn't really know what else. Maybe buy a pack with snow or something? I don't know. But, like I said, this is not chill factor, this is snow. Snow, play those solos. Um... Oh, what you also could do, if you guys are going to do a set, obviously you get back Nat versions. Say you chose the 93 at tier 5 and you did the Charles Woodson or Derrick Henry. Uh, let's be real. I'm not, I didn't keep the Zach Ertz. I didn't keep the Kenyon Drake. I did keep OBJ. I quick sold Kenyon Drake and Ertz ASAP. They are not useful. They're not good. Kenyon Drake fumbles almost 99% of the time. He's terrible. He fumbled six times against my squad. Don't get this card, guys. Don't be dumb. This card's terrible. Quick sell those cards, man, and get your snow. Another thing, guys, there's not many snow methods. So don't come out and be like, yo, these aren't even methods or like these aren't good methods. There's not snow methods, bro. You either grind the game, get your snow by doing solo challenges and quick selling cards that you get for free. Um, or you're going to go to the market like I'm going to show you guys right now and just buy these players flat out. 92 Larry Fitzgerald. I don't know what, how much snow you get from these cards, to be completely honest. I know that you do get over, obviously, 10k. I think you get 11k snow for this card itself. Um, we're going to go only on zero chill. We're going to go only on zero chill. 
because 93 all right so 93 george kittle this is a good card to buy 96k not bad not bad at all you get 11k snow from larry fitz 92 being 70 some k 75 i think it was i don't even know but these cards are 93 and they're very i don't want to say very cheap but like they're definitely worth to buy um so yeah these cards definitely fire uh any 92 to 93 i would say if you're looking for cheap definitely the 88s or the 89s is it yeah 89s look at this 89 for 29k these actually you know what buy these only buy these 89s only because these are quick selling for i think 8k 8k and then 16k and you're spending 15k uh 50k on 16k worth of snow when you're buying the 93 for a 90k and you're only getting 14k so i mean buy 89s guys i don't actually know if i'm correct on that i don't think our 93 is only 14k i don't really know someone correct me if i'm wrong but 89s are definitely the method if i'm wrong about the 893s being less than for 14k and they're more than 14k comment down below i might be wrong i don't know for sure but 89s if not 93s so those are the snow methods guys um those are the best ways to get snow buying snow playing for snow now it's time to get into the xp methods man guys it is monday solo battles have reset um you already know guys if you're on your main account and you're trying to grind your xp guys go play solo battles i'm not even going to talk about this i talk about this almost every week you guys know if you're a sub to the channel i love solo battles and the reason i do is because guys you get a 300k plus every single monday and you get a bunch of trophies too. Solo battles is the best method to grind. And that goes the same for weekend league, guys. And solo challenges. Guys, solo battles is only good for your thing, for your team, for your account. Let's look right now. I'm not even going to go deep into it. Guys, I got ranked two weeks ago. I got this rank right here. 100k plus the two midfield, two red zones, and four touchdowns. Four touchdowns is 200k. Two red zones is 50k. So 250k, 270k. From the midfield red zone touchdown packs plus the 100k 370k just from playing solo battles man plus the 100 trophies and the weekend league entry and then i did the weekend league got 13 i went 13 and 10 guys fire this is all you need to do all you need to do is grind these solo battles guys get your weekend league entry and get ranked or even just get legend man i got legend this week because i got dnf'd in a game 44k 60 trophies two omary two midfield two red zone and a weekend league entry guys grind out solo battles it's fire next gen next gen or not does not matter get these done then go and get your weekend league these also give you a lot of xp a lot of xp a lot of coins a lot of trophies literally everything get those done then like i said weekend league but also if you are not on your main account or actually you know what if you're on your main account too i'm gonna tell you right now get these done as well the weekly 50 we have a free 50 stacked player this week that you get to choose from it is the final week of the 50 get these done you're gonna want to get this done you can get a free dion vic moss whoever the new players are gronk 95 whoever you want man it's all up to you so get that done um rivals one and rivals two grind all these guys if you're not on your main account though if you're on another account trying to grind xp methods trying to do a farm account i feel you i've been there i'm gonna tell you right now these are the normal ones jack young blood third one you don't gotta play these you just look at your phone keep replaying it you don't gotta look and actually play you can just leave the controller let the cpu do all the work and just click replay you can just keep doing that you don't even have to look at the screen or the other method rivals uh con challengers challengers nope let's get out of here challengers and then v you just throw it 50 yards run out of bounds replay run 50, throw it uh throw 50 yards run out of bounds th replay throw it at wow i can't speak but do that man just keep grinding this one up do not score because it will take a lot longer for you to do uh level ups this one is 70 xp the jack youngblood's 50 but with the jack youngblood you do not have to pay attention that's why that method's fire and uh, that's pretty much it, guys. If you guys did enjoy this video, smash that like button, subscribe if you were new, turn that noti bell, and join the noti gang. I hope I help you guys make as much XP, and I hope I help you guys level up as much as you can. Get that show factor up as well. Get a bunch of snow. But that's pretty much it, guys. Peace.